Kiss is one of rock music's most legendary bands. They're currently out on their end of the road tour, which is expected to wrap up later this year with the band reportedly playing their final show. The band's bassist, Gene Simmons, is also one of rock music's most outspoken and arguably polarizing. He famously said that rock music was dead, and he's also spoken out against the use of backing tracks during live performances, calling out Rolling Stones and U2 for allegedly relying on backing tracks during their shows. And then ironically, during a performance last year in Belgium with Kiss, a video that showed a drumming error appeared to throw off their set while Paul Stanley stepped away from the microphone, you could hear his vocals coming through a PA system, which launched speculation that he was lip syncing or heavily reliant on backing tracks, which now has led the band's longtime manager to respond to those claims and issue some interesting clarifications about how they do their performances. All of this while there has been a lot of discussion about the use of laptops and backing tracks during live performances. We don't need to rehash all of that, but I am curious on what you all think in the comments on that subject. And of course, before we continue, we have a lot of returning viewers and most of you have not yet subscribed. If you could take just a quick second to hit that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. So this is the clip from that performance in Belgium with Kiss, where you can see Paul Stanley away from the microphone and you can hear the vocals coming through the PA system. Now with that in mind, Gene Simmons previously called out Rolling Stones and U2 for using backing tracks during an interview with an Australian publication, to which he said, I have a problem when you charge $100 to see a live show and the artist uses backing tracks. It's like the ingredients in food. If the first ingredient on the label is sugar, that's at least honest. He continued, it should be on every ticket. You're paying $100, 30 to 50% of the show is on backing tracks and they'll sing sometimes. Sometimes they'll lip sync, at least be honest. It's not about backing tracks, it's about dishonesty. He goes on to say, there's nobody with the synthesizer on our stage. There's no samples on the drums, there's nothing. There's very few bands who do that now. ACDC, Metallica, Us. I can't even say that about U2 or The Stones. There's very few bands who don't use backing tracks. So now in a new interview, the band's longtime manager, Doc McGee, is defending Stanley. He says that the shows are enhanced, but that Paul really is singing. He spoke of this on the Sinkin' Stanley YouTube channel, to which he said he sings every track. So he sings to it, so he's not lip syncing. He fully sings. It's enhanced. It's just part of the process to make sure that everybody hears the songs the way they should be sang to begin with. Nobody wants to hear people do stuff that's not real. That's not what they came to hear. He was asked to clarify if he actually is saying there are backing tracks that Paul is singing to, to which he said, he'll sing to tracks. It's all part of a process because everybody wants to hear everybody sing, but he fully sings to every song. Today's conversation about laptops is really yesterday's conversation about Pro Tools. We've had varying conversations about this in music as the technology has been developed. There's always a group of people that are considering, and, and I do appreciate them considering the drawbacks and wanting to keep things as authentic as possible. I think that's important to an extent. Again, I am not in favor of lip syncing. I'm not in favor of faking or miming your performances, but if it's just a backing track, and also when you consider the circumstances, these are dudes in their 70s, I give them a lot of uh, <laughs> wiggle room here. I'll just say this, if you go to see Kiss and you walk away not having a good time, I would be pretty surprised. And so let me know what you all think in the comments. I know this is something that there are a lot of strong feelings about on both sides of the issues, and I respect everybody's views on this. So just let me know what you all think in the comments. And if you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and check out the recommended video up on your screen.